everyone welcome back to part 2 video i am shweta and this video is in continuation with part 1 video so if you haven't watched the part 1 video then you should definitely watch it i am giving it in the icon or in the description or in the comment so hello jia hello so we have a really common question that how to take care of yourself okay. when you are dealing with uh, homesickness language barriers and academic stress after coming here Okay the main thing is that uh, when we come to uh, Germany as an international students of course we will miss our home our friends and everything back in India but try to trust the process because here we will find many of the indian people with us and always try to communicate with them don't be the one who is sitting in the home alone and we have to do every single stuff alone like buying the groceries cooking and uh, the main thing is that we have to plan a monthly expense because uh, we are the one who are spending for us and uh, trying to say about the education pattern is that back in india we were uh, having like we need to have an 50 percentage of attendance and all but here it's our wish if we have to attend the class or in the middle of the class if we have to work out we can do that Uh, back in india we used to do that one but here we will have the slides which is online and everything our all study materials will be online love the education system that is here because back in india we were like spoon fed everything here we will be very much uh, self dependent for so jia the next question is after coming here a lot of people have this problem of language barrier yeah. so according to your experience how to overcome it uh in my situations i didn't learn the basic german back in india but uh, my advice is that try to learn at least b1 because the online source is very much wide and we will get a uh, very uh, good vocabularies from that for me when i came here it was a uh, not huge language barrier because for me for the cleaning jobs and all we don't need uh, the german to learn the german back in india itself because it is much cheaper and here in the universities they are also providing the free german classes try to attend it regularly and study it by ourselves so what one advice would you like to give to the people before coming to germany okay the one thing i had already mentioned that try to learn the basic german then the other thing is that try to learn the basic cooking from our mothers and also be self courage because here we will have very bad and good situations so hello isa hello so i have a question for you that how would you describe the academic environment in the university so in general i first would say it is very nice and especially if you want to specialize in a master's degree or also a bachelor's you have a lot of choices here so for example i'm studying web engineering but you also could do sports engineering and i have never heard of that so every study program has its own professorship so you also can always ask a professor or a tutor for any help or if you need to contact them because this is another very benefit of the university that you get their contacts so you can always contact them if you need to tutoring what i already said this means that they don't only give like standard lectures about it about your program but they also do practical exercises and this is really nice if you want to yeah experience practice what you do later for the job that's especially the most important things for the study program also with this a bit aligned comes the seminar because in a seminar you can do a bit more research on a given topic sometimes or mostly it is given but sometimes you can also choose it if you want to for international students is that most tutorials and lectures are held in english so this is very welcoming for international students so they can also come along with what they are saying wanted to know some tips for overcoming the language barriers in the daily life and also in the academic yeah sure So first I really recommend to use apps just for training vocabulary because without vocabulary speaking any language is a bit difficult but another pro tip <laughs> if you want to really um become better at vocabulary 
could also use post-its and stick them somewhere item that you choose and um, you can every time you look at it uh, repeat it for yourself and maybe in this case you learn it also a bit faster because you cannot look away i watch netflix very often or i like it and here you could try to switch to german subtitles for example because uh, you can hear in your language but if you already read um, what they're saying also if you cannot really follow it doesn't matter it's just about another tip that i found out is if you could just chat with ChatGPT, for example in the language you want to learn because ChatGPT knows most of the languages i guess and uh, you can ask him like just give it a prompt hey i want to learn german how can i start this is all for the video if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and share it with your friends family members and everyone you know and i will see you in the next video till then bye